What's well, crackin' like it, everybody? It's the old Greggy Gamer. I'm here with more baseball. And um, it seems like the more things change, the more they remain the same. As much as I try not to have a, a home run, um, a steroid error home run, uh, well, last year, Dante Bichette destroyed the home run record with 66. Uh, you had Mike Piazza hitting 406, the first player to hit uh, 400 since Ted Williams, uh, the first National League ball player to hit uh, 400 since, I think, Bill Terry in 1933. And he was with the New York Giants, who were the San Francisco Giants before they moved. Uh, I have, um, and we'll go over some of the um, the trades and major injuries as it comes. But uh, what happened was the uh, I, I went to the All-Star game. Baltimore was supposed to win the East, but uh, they're 13 and a half games out while the Yankees are just destroying everybody. Um, the Mariners were supposed to win the West, but uh, and Houston was supposed to be second, but Los Angeles decides that they want a piece of the pie. Uh, Atlanta was supposed to blow out the East, but the Mets and the Brewers are not allowing that. The Pirates and Phillies are down at the bottom, as are the Cubs. The Expos are disappointing. The Dodgers were supposed to run away with the West, but the Florida Marlins, who became the Portland Beavers, Portland, Oregon, that is, are now um, are now uh, just kind of keeping pace with them. I don't know if they'll be able to survive, but we'll look at why Portland is having such success and San Diego and St. Louis are hanging in there. Colorado, with their big heavy hitters, are hanging in as well. And the Giants are kind of disappointing. But then Mexico City and Hawaii, of course, are on the bottom of the pile because they're still going through their expansion woes. And we'll sh see who these guys draft it. Havana is doing really well with um, Pete Rose handling the helm. They are the first expansion team to get over 500, and I think they'll be able to do it. I don't know if they'll... I mean, they're not going to be anything dominant. At the end of the year, I think they'll be... Um, they'll be a couple of games over 500. Let's look at the news. Uh, we'll see some major trades. Uh, the trade deadline, of course, is July 31st, so that'll be in... That'll be in, uh, well, actually, I think we'll finish. I think we'll finish and we'll, we'll figure out uh, who does the trades here. Um, so I think that's what I'll do. The first half, I think I'll do to the trading deadline. And then we want to get into more detail when it comes to the second half, especially when it comes to the playoffs. So I think that's what I'll do. The playoffs and the off season will be the second half uh, with just two months to play. But the first half will be up to the trade deadline. Now, Randy Johnson, ooh, got hurt, but Randy Johnson, I believe, has, uh, yeah, he, 21 strikeouts. He set the single game strikeout record with 21, so that's pretty dominant by him. Uh, Washington and the Yankees agreed to a trade. Cal Daniels is going to the Yankees, and we'll try to figure out why. Uh, might might have been an injury. But Salvador Rodriguez, I don't know if he's a real player. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Goes to the Nationals. And he's not a very particularly great ball player. So I think maybe they just grabbed uh, Daniels, who was 32 years old, due to injury to try to just back up uh, for the playoffs. Uh, Pedro Estacio was having um, eh, a subpar year, but... He wasn't doing that bad um, coming back from uh, suspension, but now he's out for the year. Uh, we have the All-Star games, and we'll get we'll get into it. Mike Piazza, of course, uh, you know, Greg Maddox has the most votes. Tim Salmon has the most votes for the AL, hitting 30 home runs again. 30 home runs in 83 games. Uh, uh, I, I I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do the best I can to lower home runs, but the more I lower home runs, it seems the really good home run hitters are hitting more. So there has to see there has to be an equilibrium. I have to find a happy medium where main ball play the main home run hitters like Mark McGuire out of zero through two hundred and fifty for home run power. Mark McGuire has two hundred and fifty home run power. 
and he's leading um, the league. So broken kneecap. David Justice is out. Only played a handful of games. Was out last year because of suspension, and that's what happens here. By the way, this game already crashed on me twice, so I'm not very happy. And 1996 might be the end of uh, be, be the end of this stuff uh, if if it doesn't go any further. Greg Maddox, 14 and three, 2.52 ERA, wonderful. Uh, how many how many got how many guys has he walked? Look at his whip. His whip is amazing. He's only walked 13 batters, which is actually worse than he did last year. All right. Uh, any major trades? Uh, Fernando Tatas, who is known for hitting two home run, or two grand slams in the same inning off Chan Ho Park. He collected a cycle. Uh, Mike Greenwell is still hanging in there for Boston. Bet 317 with 11 home runs. Good for him. Saberhagen went to Cincinnati from the Mets. Ooh, he is not doing good. I, I, he's on the he's on the down downturn. Uh, Joey Bell, what a piece of garbage this guy was! Like he chased down trick or treaters in an SUV, uh, sent a pitcher to get his cork bat from a uh, from the umpire's room. Uh, was called Joey all the time. Do I even have his nicknames? I don't I don't know if they grab most of the nicknames. And what else do we have? Tottle Stoudemire is hurt. He was he was a good pitcher. I mean, he's he's not an ace by any means, but he he was decent. Four point zero zero eight ERA is not bad. Uh, Navarro doing really well for Havana. Good for them. Uh, Dean Palmer's out, and I think he was yeah he had twenty five home runs. He was up there. Uh, Eddie Madden, who is uh, uh, one of the guys from uh, Out of the Park Baseball that I put in the game. So, yeah. Yeah, he's a uh, half pint. <laughs> it's one of the guys in Out of the Park Baseball. Uh, one of the forums. So I, I asked them if they wanted to be part of the league, and they said yes. Uh, that was a long, long time ago before I even did this. Uh, let me see. Dave Nielsen coming back from suspensions, hitting 355 with 18 home runs as a catcher. Uh, some for, for some reason, the catchers are really hanging in there. And Tony Gwynn, oh, no. No, second year, well, third year in a row. No, 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 no. That's 90-94, he was, uh, it was cut short. The, the season was cut short, so... But 95 and 96, Tony Gwynn has been injured, and he was batting 374. Wade Boggs, another great uh, doubles doubles hitter that would hit high in the high 300s back in the 80s. This is the second year in a row he's been injured for the Yankees, so that's not good. Um, Portland. Portland traded Jeff Conine to Havana. So Havana thinks they can actually cause some damage this year. He was batting 312.05 home runs. Not a home run hitter by any means. Jason Christensen, who was about the highest rated uh, relief pitcher in the expansion draft and did a, a, a decent job for Havana for the last two years. I mean, 1995, he did, he did great. This year he's been faltering, but uh, he's been doing good since he went to Havana or Portland. Portland and Portland's in the Portland's in first place. So, uh, and they got uh, a minor leaguer there as well. Uh, Cockrell, Cockrell, huh? Cockrell was with uh, Colorado. Did pretty good in '95. So we'll see if he's going to start over there. Who did Burbeck? Huh? Colorado wants Burbeck and Frank Collins. Uh, Frank Collins is a he's got some he's got some upside, right? Uh Galarraga's out. What was Galarraga doing this year? 302 with 23 home runs in 75 games. Oh my god. Um Ichiro I think has the hitting streak. 
Oh, there, there, that's why. Cal Daniels went to the Yankees because he wanted out. He was becoming a distraction for the Nationals, so they said, you're, you're not worth it. Juan Gonzalez, another of the guys that were uh, suspended last year for PED use, came back. It was hitting 314 with 18 home runs. Nomo has got 129 strikeouts and 146 innings pitched. Oh, boy. He's gone downhill a little bit. He's not doing so well as he did last year. Uh, Jose M. Martinez, torn back muscle. He's out for the year. He was doing pretty decent. He was doing pretty decent. He was. It looks like he was the stopper for the Nationals. And that's not good. Detroit, Chad Curtis is out. Looks like he was doing pretty well this year. Um, Texas, Colorado. Mickey Tettleton goes to Colorado. Um, and he is, uh, it looks like he's just a backup catcher, which is good. Everybody needs a backup catcher. Um... Randy Johnson, of course, has been dominant when he was not been injured. Jeff Sopan, Supan is out. Boston was using him as a reliever stopper kind of guy, and he was doing horrible. So, hey, he's a starting pitcher. I'm sure. I'm sure if he was a starting pitcher, he'd do pretty good. Dave Winfield uh, is still a free agent. He did not get anybody trying to grab him this year. Ozzie Smith is a free agent. He was, wow, wow, they got rid of Ozzie Smith. So, Ozzie Smith, last gold glove was 1992. It looks like 95 was 234, only hit two home runs. The year before that, he played 98 games in the shortened season, hitting 262, and that's what he was. He was basically a two, 280 hitter. Wouldn't hit a lot of home runs, but played stellar defense. But now his defense is subpar, so they just got rid of him. So I don't think he'll get picked up, which is pretty good. I mean, uh, Paul Molitor, torn ligaments, batting three forty three. Andre Dawson went to the White Sox, a uh, guy who made... Uh, was MVP for the last place Chicago Cubs. I think he's the only MVP that was from a last place team. And he is just, it looks like he's a pinch hitter and not even a, 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 a highly used one. He was highly used in Portland last year and uh, hit nine home runs in 86 games, but this year just hitting 220, so he might be out. Is Murray still going? Murray... It doesn't. Either he's being injured a lot, or he's uh, he's he's a backup. Mike Devereaux got lost for Pittsburgh seven months. He was having a pretty good year last year. He had two ninety eight ten home runs. Pedro Martinez. This is why the Expos aren't doing so well. Partially torn lab labrum. He's out for three months. <sighs> I don't think he's going to live up to that potential. When when players get injured here, they might uh, lose development or their, their potential. And this is the second year in a row that Pedro Martinez has been injured. So I don't think we're going to see Pedro time. Last year, he was doing horrible when he got injured. This year, he was just average. 21 strikeouts of 21 innings pitch, but still. Ichiro is on fire. He's leading the league in stolen bases by a country mile. And he's batting 373. Uh, John Candelario went to Portland this year, was doing pretty darn well, and now he uh, he was injured for a bit. That's the reason they're in first place, by the way. Is they picked up some good, they picked up some good guys. Steve Gibraltar, who was just a backup outfielder for most of his career. Hitting three, 301 with 18 home runs. So expansion has been good to him. Okay. Castillo is hurt. Lankford's been hurt. I think he was 
No, he was. He was. Uh, he had a hell of a year last year. Did he win comeback player of the year? I think he won comeback player of the year year last year. No, he didn't. He was in the running though. Uh, exposing Yankees. Curtis Pride went to the Yankees. He's um. He's one of the. He was a deaf ball player, so he was deaf, and used hand signals. And uh, Jody Reed again gets traded, which he's often had in his career. And he's just a backup for Montreal. So it doesn't make sense. Maybe it was Dario Gonzalez. Yeah, he's two and a half stars. So that's that's where that came from. Chili Davis signed a good contract in the offseason, two years. Uh, was batting 317 with eight, uh, 314 with eight home runs. So, And he had a hell of a good on-base percentage, 411. But it doesn't look like he's uh, he's doing too much. Will Clark, he's been injured most of the year. 53 games. 327, though, he's hitting. Brian Lesher, another guy that was just uh, a quadruple A ball player. Too good for triple A, but not good enough for the majors. But he he's hitting 242 with seven home runs. He hit three home runs against Boston. Uh, the first year player draft. So we got Lance Berkman, 20 years old, out of college. He went to Hawaii. Jason Worth went to Detroit. Uh, yeah, Jason Worth was a catcher, but he went to the outfield. Was with the Phillies and then got a huge deal with the Nationals. David Eckstein. David Eckstein's one of those scrappy players. He, he had a great reputation. Uh, a lot of guys loved him on his team. Uh, uh, fans loved him. And the thing is... Uh, he was World Series MVP, uh, took some good, was on a lot of playoff contenders, um, but stat guys never liked him. Um, but uh, the big thing about him is uh, his daughter, Ashley Eckstein, Eckstein uh, is the voice of Ahsoka Tana, who was Anakin Skywalker's Padawan in the Clone Wars, and then that new crap, the uh, Rebels. Roy Oswald goes to Mexico. Travis Hafner goes to Havana. So they're going to have Donkey. Um, and I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, they're... They're... Uh, Lance Bur Yeah, their nicknames are not importing. Which is... Uh, eh, sad. But, you know, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with it. Yeah, none other... Wizard... Uh, Oz... Oswald... So I'm not going to deal with it. R.A. Dickey, who uh, got more success later in his career, like his late 30s, because he found the knuckleball and won the Cy Young Award with, I want to say Toronto, or was it the Mets? He won it with one of them, but he was a, the Mets, uh, he was a fan favorite with the Mets. And then he went to Toronto. Tim Hudson was one of those Oakland A pitchers that they churn out all the time and then trade for prospects. Mike B. Young. I don't know Mike B. Young. And Vernon Wells, uh, heavy hitting um, outfielder, but he was uh, his defense is uh, was phenomenal. And Chode Figgins goes to St. Louis. Oh, nice. Let's see what the whole player log is. I want to see who most players got. Oh, and of course it goes to. I I knew it. I told you it was going to go to seventy freaking rounds. Let me see, Donnie Schmidt. Is he a... Yeah, I knew that name was familiar. Jeff Pohl. Yeah, so we got real players. So that is good. Uh, Berkman. Oh, Johan Santana goes to the Nationals. J.D. Drew goes to the Rangers. For call, speedy, speedy shortstop. Was with the Braves organization. He goes to Kansas City. Chavez was a great defensive... Uh, heavy hitting third baseman which the Oakland A's usually had an abundance of he was with the A's for quite a while Randy Wolf a favorite of the Phillies curveball specialist he goes to the Orioles who did the Phillies get oh Phillies got Mike B. Young 
great. Out of all the players, they get Mike B. Young. Eric Milton was a t Minnesota twin for quite a while. Eh, not a great ball player by any means, but not bad. Marcus Thames, who went to Japan, started smacking the crap out of the ball, and then came back and uh, for the Brewers for the last couple of years. He's the reason the Brewers have been in contention. A.J. A. J. Hinch, better known as a manager than he was as a catcher, but he was not a bad catcher. John Cuss was one of those um, was one of those home run hitters uh, that could never kind of stick in the major leagues, but he, boy, he could tear the cover off the ball, but he struck out way too much and didn't walk enough, so that's why he never stuck in the majors. Um, oh, Hasagua. See, now his, his nickname came through, Shiggy. That's weird. Okay. Why did some go? Ross Glode, who is an out-of-the-park baseball legend, because for some reason he came in with stats, usually, uh, potential that was absolutely amazing, like Mark McGuire-like. So he, way back in the day, out-of-the-park five, he came in and usually just ran, broke records. So, Hideki Arabu. Oh, the fat dude that the Yankees paid way too much money for. He was just a horrible, horrible uh, uh, contract from Japan. So, he goes to Baltimore, and he's a two-star player. Wh where is he? Is he in AAA now? No, oh, they sent him right to the major. He went to AAA, and now he's in the majors. Uh, David Risk... Andy Tarpley's 23. I think he's the oldest, or Rabu, 27. Nope, nope, Shiggy is 27 as well. And he's in the bullpen for the Yankees. And Colina. He must be Cuban. I never heard of him. Now it says he's American, which is odd. Ricardo Ricon. Mexican pitcher. He must have been in the Mexican leagues then when he made his debut in Major League Baseball. Got a 22-year-old, Jared Jensen. Not bad. I don't know any of the other names here. Okay. So we'll go back. What else? So there's a first-year player draft. And Matt Grott is nobody special. Polanco, he's leading in. I think he's leading uh, the league in batting average. And I want to see that. I want to see the uh, news for. Johnson striking out 2021. 20, oh, Sid Fernandez. That's why Baltimore's not doing so well. He was stinking too. But he stunk in Hawaii. I don't know why they gave him. But for some reason, they thought him becoming uh, uh, an Oriole was going to get them. Jamie Moyer got into a fight? You got to be kidding me. Terry Mulholland. Oh, that's one reason. Oh, no, he went to Cleveland. I thought he was with San Francisco. Scott Rowland. Oh, he's back. He's back. Batting 327, eight home runs. Great defensive third baseman. Mike Pagarello, Pagarulo. He's very into politics now. I think he's running for office or something. But he is, uh, he retired. He was in the PCL, said, so, uh, I'm giving it up. And I don't see Fernando. Wow, went to Cleveland. Oh, man, I, I was hoping Mexico would grab him again. 5-7, and 4.73 ARA. Langston, how's Langston doing? Did Langston, Langston's the, did he win the Cy Young last year? Champion. No, he was the comeback player of the year. Okay. 
Chuck Finley must have won the Cy Young then. 17 and 5, now he's 4 and 2. Oh, Ricky Henderson. I love Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson is one of the best ball players of all time. Why is he high in greed? Hold on. I gotta I gotta do something here. 114. Ricky was never much of a leader. He was sort of like on his own. Uh, and he never really cared about winning or loyalty. And he was one of the, one of the best. I'm gonna put 19 here because one of the best stories I got of Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson got a million dollar contract, and the A's uh, were a million dollar short. Uh, and so they they sat there. They were like, "Hey, Ricky, remember that million dollar check that we gave you? What what did you do with that?" Come to find out, Ricky Henderson didn't cash the check. He framed it and put it on his wall. So he never really cared about money. But the thing, he's got high work ethic. Um, he's average intelligence. He he was his own. He was his own man. He uh. He came up with some really good quips, but I mean, he wasn't the smartest guy, but he was definitely not the dumbest. He was just eccentric. Uh, adaptability. I'm going to put that high too. And controversy. Ricky Henderson? No. No. So. And his. He was. He wasn't as, as speedy as he used to be, but he was speedy. And he's got the most uh, leadoff home runs by a wide margin. He's got 80, I think. And the next closest one to him has like 52. It's it's amazing. Um, uh, yeah, he's going down in defense as well. What is he hitting? What are you hitting here, Man of Steel? You only played 14 games. Betting 277. You have two stolen bases. I think I think in reality, when he was 39 years old in 1998, he led the league in stolen bases. Oh, and there Harold Reynolds. The only time he did not lead in stolen bases in the 80s. Uh, where, oh, let me go back. Where? Uh, where is he? Where was it? Oh, Paul O'Neill's been hurt. Only. Second year in a row, Paul O'Neill's been hurt. Great. Great! I totally forgot where... Ricky Henderson was. Oh, Dwayne Ward got shut down for the season. That's gotta hurt Toronto. But anyways, yeah, Ricky Henderson led in stolen bases throughout uh, their 17 strikeouts for Randy Johnson. Throughout the 80s, he, he didn't have it one year. I think he was injured, and Harold Reynolds led with 50. And Ricky, the, the story Harold Reynolds tell, tells is that he gets a call from Ricky Henderson. The only thing Ricky sits there and says, it goes, man, and he's talking solemnly. He's like, man, 50, only 52 stolen bases? I could have I could have done that in my sleep. And then he hung up the phone. That was it. That was the whole that was the whole conversation from Ricky Henderson. Oh, Kurt Schilling's gone for the gone for the year. Well, I have to see what happens to Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling's one of my favorite ball players of all time. Uh didn't do so well in Philadelphia, but he went to um Arizona, of course, and uh him and Randy Johnson give the Diamondbacks a World Series against the Yankees, that Luis Gonzalez bloop off of Mariano Rivera, of course. And then he went to Boston and the Bloody Sock incident where he had stitches in his um, Achilles heel and he pitched a phenomenal game to get the uh, Red Sox to come back three from 3-0 deficit in the uh, American League Championship game to go to the World Series and then finally win the World Series against the Cardinals for the first time since 1918. Okay, Ron Kittle, he retired. So he was in Colorado. He hit pretty well. That's weird. I don't know why Ron Kittle would retire. Maybe he's just not getting playing time. Uh, Greg Maddox is dominating, of course. Uh, and then 
Ichiro hit got a 37 game hitting streak. Fred McGriff got 300 home runs. What's he doing? He's doing pretty well. 269, 15 home runs. Um, I think Wade Boggs got his 25, uh, 25th hit. Derek Jeter uh, injured. Only played. He's only played, but he's betting 391 with 444 on base percentage, and that's what you got to do. Jeff King, who was with Pittsburgh last year, goes to Detroit, and boy, he's, oh, he might be the comeback player of the year. He keeps that up. Jim Abbott with the White Sox is having a bounce. Well, not a bounce back year. He's doing good, though. Oh, wait, Tim Raines was injured. What is Tim Raines doing? Uh, he's back in the order. Only played 37 games. Gary Gaetti hits his 300th home run. Having a good year. He hit 40 home runs last year. A career year last year when expansion took place. Marty Cordova, I think he had a good year last year. 20 home runs, 341 for Minnesota. And he's been injured for most of the year. But I don't see anything about Randy Johnson striking out. There he goes. There's hit 2,500 for Wade Boggs. He's injured again. Uh, batting stats. Can he get... Who can he get to 3,000? Of all the players that should get to 3,000, it should be Wade Boggs. Well, Wade Boggs and Tony Gwynn. Hit 200, uh, 200. He had 200 hits from 83 to 89. And then 90 and 91 wasn't bad either with 187, 181. Career 335 hitter. Oh, I hope he gets there. Wait, what else? Oh, he, he's going towards doubles, too. Hold on. Sorry. He, yeah, 500 doubles. Got his 100th home run. Not a big home run hitter. But look at his doubles. 51, 45, 40. Uh, Johnny Damon's out for six months. Pitching machine, oh, knocks out Sean Casey, who is, wow, he's only 22. I thought he was older. I don't, Sean Casey is just one of those players that you think uh, is older than he always was. But, oh, they got two stories here, four, nine, four, ten. But again, this thing crashed on me twice, so. Kevin Gross has been is injured for the year. Edgar Martinez. 359, 15 home runs. Probably playing really bad. Okay, so now we're going to look at the um, AL leaders. Uh, Roberto Alomar. Where did he come from? He wasn't leading. He must have been injured. And then, okay. All right. I see how it is. Coming back for suspension. Uh, batting 376, 17 home runs. Uh, now he's leading, but Ichiro has, oh no, he hasn't been injured. What the hell am I talking about? But he overcame Ichiro. Uh, Kirby Puckett coming back. He is, wow. He's having a phenomenal year. One of these guys, one of these, uh, um, PED guys are going to win, of course, uh, comeback player of the year. Ron Coomer with Havana having another good season. 365. Wow. Guy that didn't make a dent in real real life baseball, but he, he's doing a hell of a time now. Alex Rodriguez. Of course, being the player that he always was. Uh, 48 stolen bases. You can see Ichiro. 48. The next guy is Chuck Knobloch with 26. That's outrageous. Lance Johnson has 20. Uh, Fernando Tatis having 86 strikeouts. That's not good. Mark McGuire, 101 walks. Next one is Frank Thomas, who is a walking machine, but is having a down year. 
Wow, he's having it down. He hit 58 home runs last year, 371 average. He's now only hitting 290 with nine home runs. Wow, how is that happening? Tim Salmon um, last year almost played. Remember, we only have 154 games. Played 145 last year. Um, now has 30 home runs by the break. I don't want to see, I don't want to see the, I really don't want to see what the heck the home run record is. Cause let's look at Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire's 32 home runs for crying out loud. Palmero has 30 betting 307. Tino Martinez hitting, uh, 26 home runs, 327. Uh, Palmer Valentin is a, a surprise 23 home runs so far this year jose caseco back still smacking it out of the ballpark and mike stanley of the yankees hit 21 home runs last year already surpassed will already surpass that but he's batting 362 that's why you can see that happening bernie williams 342 with 24 home runs and 78 rbis oh classic spanish guitar player too um, let's look, well, we'll do the batting leaders here then. And now let's go to the a NL and you can see Polanco batting 380 for St. Louis. He was, uh, he came over from St. Louis to Philadelphia for, I think it was J, I think it was JD Drew that they traded away. Maybe they traded, they traded, a, oh, Scott Rowland. I think they traded for, uh, Polanco because Scott Rowland was sick of the AstroTurf. <laughs> so... He's batting 380. Has not missed a game either. And then, of course, Tony Gwynn. <sighs> Torn ankle. He's gone. He'll drop off. Brad Fulmer. I don't think he can keep that up. Kevin Seitzer. He did bat 337 last year with nine home runs. I think. Oh, not Fulmer. I want it. Seitzer. I think Seitzer smacked a crap load of doubles last year, too. Yep, 41 doubles. 41 doubles. He's having a second win at the end of his career. Jeff Kent, um, still with the Mets. At this time, I think he went to the Giants, and then him and Barry Bonds did not get along too well. Speaking of Barry Bonds, Barry Bonds is not in the home run race. Uh, so that is why San Francisco is doing uh, very horrible. Is probably because Barry Bonds has been injured, but I don't. I don't see that happening. We didn't go back too far when it came to the news articles. So he probably was hurt in spring training, and he's probably gone for the year. Mike Lansing is just smacking doubles left and right because he's in that big park in Hawaii, the pitcher's park. So instead of home runs, he's hitting doubles. So he went from Montreal hitting 10 home runs to now only hitting three, but he's turned that into double power. Brian McRae, uh, right on par from what he did last year. Very, very consistent. Kevin Stocker over in Philly has not hit a home run this year. But hey, you know, double hit double hitters are valuable. Barry Larkin. Uh is Barry Larkin Barry Larkin's 21 stole. Look at who's Daryl Sherman. Daryl Sherman got okay. I want to see him. He might be one of the... Oh, come on. You can't give him number 60. Hold on. I don't think he's going to get number... Oh, he can get number one. We're going to make him number one. So, Daryl Sherman uh, was the number... What, not the number one pick, but he was uh, drafted round 22. And then traded for Kelly Stinnett. So, I think the Mets got the best of that deal. Wow. Good going, Sherman, man. Uh, and all he needed was some playing time, apparently. Got some playing time in Havana, and now he uh, he did well when he was traded to the Mets, and now he is just excelling. I like stories like that. I really do. Andrew Jones, 101 Ks, but of course, he's 19 years old. He's not even fully developed, and they might kill his 
his potential rating. Of course, Sammy Sosa batting 295, smacking 31 home runs. Bichette's still there. But if we look at Bichette, now we look at his uh, batting stats. Oh, no, actually in the profile it shows. You can see where it's going to, it's projecting him. And it's projecting him only with 45 home runs this year. So oh, 66 home runs, 178 RBI, 232 hits last year, batting 373. He's still batting a high average, but now he uh, he's not smacking the crap out of the ball. But that's to be expected. Last year was an expansion. Uh, you had pitchers in the league that shouldn't have been. Now you have more development time. And you can see where uh, some of the expansion teams grabbed better pitchers. And so that's how it's going uh, for the standings. Yeah, uh, the Angels. Let's look at why Portland is number one, even though they should not be. Okay, so pitching. Uh, Bobby Witt, of course, is just dominating. Asuado Fernandez, that's last year he... He got a call up. Okay. Draft it in the 1990. Oh, here it is. Okay. First year player draft. So he came right into the league. He did not. Oh, yeah, he's Cuban. That's why. So he came in at the age of 26. So he went right, slotted right into the rotation. John Burkett. Um. Eh, not doing so well this year, but that... Oil Can Boyd! Oil Can Boyd. Holding down the fort there. And then now they got Jason Christensen, who has been doing well in Portland. John Candelaria is now the setup man. Lee Smith uh, came from the Angels. What, what happened here? A trade? Yep. Okay. And Terry Pendleton goes to L.A., and Terry Pendleton's doing well over in L.A., but he was doing so good in Portland. Let's see who they got at third base. Jay Powell, another good... Um, Well, he was the stopper till they got Christensen. Oh, okay. Shaw came over from Colorado, and he really likes this ball. He likes this ballpark a lot better than Chicago, uh, Colorado. Uh, Charles Johnson, a great defensive catcher, doing okay. Mark Kotze, again, these freaking uniform numbers, come on. Give him number five. Uh, Luis Castillo, doing a hell of a lot better this year. Uh, Varus got, got his, uh, well, you know, he isn't starting. Julio Franco. He got traded last year. Or did he get traded last year? Is this a contract? Nope, he was traded. Okay, he was traded for Pat Rapp, who's doing a hell of a job. Wow, bad trade by Portland there. You're not even using Julio Franco at second base. But Pat Rapp is 12-4 and four over for Cleveland. And Tony Saunders. Nah, he's in double A over there. Edgar Renteria, 19 years old, batting 334 with 10 home runs. Gary Shetfield is back. That's a big reason right there. Randy Wynn, having a better year than last year. Kevin Millar, 24 years old, finally getting a shot. And uh, he's got a bad uniform, number two. Give him number 11. There we go. Wonderful. And McCall, you can't have that. What are you doing? Can I give him nine? Yeah, I give him nine. Good thing about these expansion uh, expansion teams uh, is that you can have any uniform number. Uh, see? Because none of the uniforms are retired. Uh, Chergy. Usually give these kind of guys like high numbers here John Candelaria actually look at his history if we look at his history we can see his uniform number so 65 we'll, yeah, yeah. keep him with 60 now nah, we'll give him like uh, 34 nope already in use how about 
32. There we go. The Candyman can. So that's why, uh, that's why Portland's doing a hell of a job. Uh, who do they have hurt? Wow, look at this disabled list. Look, oh, it's all minor league. So they've been relatively healthy when it comes to the major leagues as well. So that's why they're doing well. The Dodgers are probably because they have a, a couple of key injuries. So let's look at the injuries. Yep, uh, yep. Ramon Martinez, Chanho Park, Hollinsworth, Mondency, Estacio. Yeah. So who is actually pitching for these guys? Nomo Valdez, Ted Lilly is pitching. Oh, I'm not even going to change it. Look at all these. Ah, the hell with it. Who cares about uniform numbers? Hershiser, I don't know why. Oh, this is probably his last year. He's probably going to get... He's probably going to get done. But he spent his whole career since 84 with the Dodgers. So good for him. Todd Worrell had a great year last year. Is having a better year this year. But their lineups... Oh, oh they got Ed Sprague. Okay. Okay. But they're not using him. They're using Wilton Guerrero. Who did they trade to get him? Probably a bad trade. Oh, no. It was... It was a very good trade. They give a, they give Toronto a freaking backup catcher. Ah, because they have Paul Deluc Paul Laduca, who was a very good on base machine for them. Uh, Brett Butler goes to the left field. It looks like he's probably yeah he's losing, he's losing uh, range. Uh, so they got Chris Latham. Chris Latham, I think is uh, yeah he's got eight triples. So he's a speedy guy. The line the shields. Ah, he's having he's not having a career year like he did last year. Piazza only hitting 336 with 14 home runs this year. So a lot of down years this year. Eric Karras, what are you doing? Yeah, you hit 388 with 35 home runs last year. Not even close this year. So that's why the Dodgers, they're they're having off years by all their ball players. And what about what about San Francisco? I guarantee Bear, uh, Barry Bonds is out for the year. No, he's not. He, he, he was out for a bit though, but he's only hitting 259 with seven home runs. Wow. So last year he hit 288 with 21 home runs. And now this year he's hitting even worse. Oh my God. So the one guy people thought would have thought was uh busted for was busted for PED use is not is not and but he's doing absolutely freaking horrible. But Matt and Matt Williams is only hitting eleven home runs. So Paul Sorrento is the man of the hour. Muller hitting 20 doubles because that's what Bill Muller does. He, he, I think he had a year or two of uh, 50 home runs. These guys have talent. I just don't know why it's not translating. So let's look at the expansion teams. And then we'll look at the Yankees. And then we'll go see what the major... Uh, what the major trades on the trade deadline are okay so john cerruti all right out chakar out he had a crappy year erzen housing came over from the mets and he is out uh endo two and ten oof oof they do have jesus uh sanchez though he was with the mets last year didn't do so well. Did they trade for Sanchez? Nope. Claimed off of waivers. So it looks like the waiver system has been pretty decent too. I don't see a lot of guys bouncing around, but I, I really haven't looked that hard. Uh, Roger McDowell came over from Texas. Still sucks. I don't know why. I don't know why you guys haven't released him. That that's horrible. You should not have that guy trying to save games with that ERA. 
Uh, Mouton, again, is the uh, he had a good year last year, and he came back to earth. Andy Van Slyke is at the downturn of his career. He's betting 205. Oof. Not good at all. Mexico City. Who does Mexico City have? Mexico City. Blankenship is hurt. Um, wasn't great last year. Oh, their main defensive center fielder, though, is out. So they're that kills their the one thing they had going for him, which was defense. Uh, Jason Jacomi came over from the Mets, which how? Yep, from a waiver. From a waiver. Uh, Paris doing the same thing he did last year. Not a great stopper, but they keep on putting him out there because they have no better options. Look at this freaking ERA. Look at these ERAs. Doug Simons is the only one doing well, and he and that's only because he played eight games. Uh, their lineup is nobody special. Nobody special. They really don't have anybody except for Matt Stairs. And, of course, Matt Stairs is hitting 369 with three home runs. So uh, they got Tony Phillips, uh, but they're not using him in a starting in a starting manner, Thomas Howard. Six stolen bases, seven caught stealing. Not exactly what you want from your leadoff hitter, especially when he's only got a 308 on base percentage. It's going to be an uphill battle for Mexico. Um, let's look at Havana. Havana, who's hurt? Chuck Carey only played three games, was doing okay. Scott Bullitt, who was who did good last year, was not or yeah, did two sixty two thirteen. He was betting three hundred this year, so he's out for the year. Uh they're pitching Jamie Navarro. Ah, yeah, he's doing he's doing better than he did last year. Rick Ree, but that's it. Mike Mims. Yeah, he's doing well, good as well. Botalico having the same year as he did last year. Not dominant, but not bad. Rod Dibble, of course, came over and he's doing better than he did with the White Sox and the Rangers. So that's good. Uh, Rudinsky not having the year he did last year, but. Uh, that might just be a couple of bad outings. You never know. So, not bad when it comes to that. Uh, but, Kelly Stinnett, not doing as well as the guy he was traded for. But Nick Johnson, who was a, a Yankee, he was the first baseman for the Yankee. Uh, very good defensive first baseman. But, he's only 17, and Havana just used him twice at the age of 17 jeez that's gonna and and they bypassed gene shall gene shall who last year bet at 321 with 14 homers and a 413 on base percentage 5, 514 slugging they sat him down for a 17 year old ball player pete rose i don't know what you're doing buddy i don't know what you're doing but ron coomer is having a better year than he had last year Absolutely wonderful. I like to see it. Mike Bordick. Uh, Mike Bordick's backing up. Shortstop in second base. Relaford doing pretty well. Yeah, it looks like he's he's um, developing quite well. Doing better than he did last year. Uh, Glenn Murray. Not having a great, not having the a year he, d, he did last year, but still good. And then of course they got Conine, who is batting 364 since he came over. So, oh Washington, Washington's the next one, the next expansion team. And let's see who's injured for Washington. Uh, all their key back, yeah, Jose Martinez. Arthur Rhodes, torn UCL. 
They tried. They tried to get good ball players. They got Mark Sweeney, and he was doing well. Rusty Greer, first pick of the expansion draft, I think. Yep, round one, pick one by the Nationals. And he was living up to it, batting 356. Last year he batted 295. He was living up to that number one pick. Mark Gardner uh, was not doing great, but he was doing better than last year. Andrew, Andrew Har, um, eh, wasn't doing great, but uh, these are key ball players that they need it because they don't have a, 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 a heavy, if you look at their minor league system, they don't have like a, a, a very heavy, uh, talented pool to choose from being an expansion team so that's hurts but robert pearson is trying to keep them competitive but geez you got garrett stevenson here age 24 just saying please let me go back to the minors and then nobody Ugh. mel rojas former expo closer and just 10.32 you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me and they're Stubby Clap. I remember Stubby Clap. Uh, what a funny name. Uh, Roderte. They got Mark Witten. Hard hitting Mark Witten. Good nickname. Only batting 228, though. Uh, really? Rodarte? They got this guy, Rodarte, who is the number three hitter. You know you're in trouble. Greg Linton, who was just a, basically a pinch hitter his career. He's about 347. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they have anybody good on the horizon. Um, oh, let's look at the Yankees. The Yankees, of course, have these dominant players that are coming up through their, that have come up through their system. Uh, Wade Boggs, Jeremy Giambi, is out he was batting 262 so he's probably a good corner outfield option uh rivera has taken over the closer role but they also got billy wagner they grabbed billy wagner i think did they give him a contract no they traded they traded ross powell who got traded traded away what the hell happened to ross powell Oh, Jesus. Now, the waiver, the waiver wire, the god darn waiver wire is still broken. John Wetland, closer last year, just a middle reliever this year. Steve Howe came back. This dude had so many cocaine and drug. But, and then you got Shiggy. Who was the number one pick in the draft goes right into the bullpen and is uh, not doing bad. Jack McDowell, Sterling Hitchcock, um, eh, living up to what he did last year. Andy Pettit is developing decently. Uh, Melito Perez, eh, but you know they have the bullpen. Rivera. Hesawaga, Wagner, Wetland, Howe, that's a good bullpen. And if you look at their lineup, they got Mike Stanley hitting 21 home runs, Bernie Williams hitting 24, you got Don Mattingly still batting 300 with 15 doubles, and he's been almost injury-free, so that's good to hear. Uh, D'Angelo Jimenez, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. He was just a, a utility infielder. But he's the second baseman. Mike Lowell, who was traded to Florida. He's doing awesome. And Derek Jeter is doing awesome. Daryl Strawberry's back. Daryl Strawberry is back and he is hitting. 250 with four home runs. He's making a comeback. I wish you all the luck, Daryl. I, I wish you a couple of years of luck. Paul O'Neill has to stay healthy, though. That's that's what that has to that's what has to happen there. Um, and we'll look at Cleveland. Cleveland, of course, got Pat Rapp in that trade. But they also have Fernando Valenzuela, uh, Charles Nagy, 
Bartolo Colon. Uh, Asamacher is probably the best closer in the league, although he was always just like a lefty specialist uh, setup guy. Um, but their bullpen is not doing so great. Jose Mesa. That's so weird. It's got to be their. It's got to be their offense, and it is. It is. Uh, you got Richie Sexton at first base because uh, Murray is injured. Biagra, Jim Tomey, uh, Brian Giles. They got rid of. Uh, I think Joey Bell is hurt. And Kenny Lofton only batting two thirty four with nineteen stolen bases. What is going on? His st- his uh. Oh, something had to happen to him. But, yeah, they have a whole bunch of injuries. Dennis Martinez, jeez. He's gone for the year. That's probably going to be the end of him. Murray, he'll be back. He'll be back. Manny Ramirez is gone. So, Cleveland, Cleveland's not going to catch up to the Yankees. Cleveland is not going to catch up to the Yankees. Baltimore was the guy, were, were the team that was supposed to win the East. It wasn't supposed to be as dominant as other leagues, but up uh, oh, Cal Ripken is gone. And that's probably his career. Never never beat uh never beat uh Lou Gehrig's consecutive game streak cuz he got injured last year. And uh yeah, I think I think Cal Ripken, I think he's done for. I think that's it. The end of an error. Hideki Arabu not doing bad. They got Musina Moyer, McDonald. Uh, wait, was Kevin Brown? Kevin Brown. That would have made a that would have made a, a nice uh triple threat one through three. Musina Moyer and him. Coppinger. Who the hell is Coppinger? He's doing okay. Doug Jones is a, a closer, though. But apparently, Doug Jones... Oh, at the age of 39, he's going down. Jimmy Haynes was a big prospect for the uh, the Orioles, and he never panned out. But he's doing okay as a setup role. Who they got in the lineup now? They got Tuffle. Uh, Tony Fernandez. Tony Fernandez. He must have been playing second base for these guys when Ripken was there. Yep. Yep, he was playing second base, but they moved him to short. Uh, Anderson, still doing okay. And Palmero's got 30 home runs. Hoyle's got 13. Jacques Jones, who was a right fielder after Kirby Puckett retired for Minnesota, is doing okay. Is doing okay. Jacques Jones, what's he? Oh, he's hitting fifth. Does he? Oh, yeah, he's got some home run power. That's why. He's got some home run power. But he was also a very good defensive guy. Other than that, um, well, the Braves are just dominating. The Expos, the Expos should have been in. The Expos should have been in the running, but you got Pedro hurt, Urbina is hurt, Kevin Gross, uh, and Moises Alou. Oh boy. So their main pitcher is gone, but they still have a very look at. I mean, their their staff is not bad. Eric Gagne, the guy who used to have the uh, saves record, is now the closer. Nice. Uh, Michael Barrett, he was a good he was a good catcher for a long time. He's backing up Fletcher, Brad Fulmer. Grinsliak batting 312. Sean Barry. Oh. Cabrera, 271. Vladimir Guerrero, of course, knocking the sock, knocking the skin off the ball. Very nice. Okay, so we got all of those. We did the NL, I think. Yeah, Sosa, everybody. So let's look at the pitchers. Uh, Castillo for the Cubs. Wow, what a comeback he's having this year. 
Greg Maddox, of course, is in the running, as he always is for another Cy Young. Ramon Martinez, Pedro's brother, who never really lived up to his brother's name, is actually better than his brother the last couple of years. Take that, sibling rivalry. Uh, John Smoltz, who was hurt most of the last year, um, he's coming back. 142 strikeouts and 142 innings. Uh, Maddox leading in wins. Landingham, 6.2. Jeez. Mark Woolers, of course, uh, not dominating like he did last year. Oh, no. Actually, yeah, yeah, he's not dominating like he did last year. He had 96 Ks and 77 innings last year. So he's not really dominating like he did, but he's doing a hell of a hell of a good thing. John Franco is trying to get into the Hall of Fame, but... He's got 17 saves, but 4.79 ERA. Jeff Parrott refuses to go into the night. Is now the closer for Colorado. Borland, the closer for Chicago. And he is doing well. He is doing well in that respect. I think he's a starting pitcher, but they grabbed, uh, they grabbed him and put him in the bullpen, which is happening a lot that I've seen. A lot of starting pitchers as a closer. Uh, Trevor Hoffman. Eh, he seems to be developing well. He's still young. He's still, well, he's not that young, but he's 28 years old. He still has potential. I wonder if he'll live up to that potential. I don't know. Uh, Seki of Hawaii, 63 walks and 118. Oof. Oof. Not good. Uh, Smoltz leading in strikeouts. That's, that's to be expected. Uh, Jason Schmidt as well. Hmm. Ted Lilly is not really a strikeout artist. How he must be going long into games. Hundred third, yeah, hundred thirteen, hundred eight strikeouts. Skurik. Eleven and three, two point nine eight ERA, hundred twenty six strikeouts and one hundred twenty three innings. But if we look at the AL, you're going to see Randy Johnson just dominate. 14 strike 14.17 strikeouts per nine innings that's record breaking i mean clemens is behind what 9.58 he's got 127 strikeouts 119 innings but johnson is just jeez 1.96 era having one of the best seasons a pitcher could ever have um has six shutouts good god Asimaker, of course, has that. Martin, yeah, Washington's really missing that. Percival, doing the same as he did last year. Eckersley, having a better year than he did last year. Forty at age 41. That's what I like to see. I wonder if he'll get traded. Every day, Eddie Guerrero, Gu Guardo, 5.4 ERA, though. Ugh. And there it is, Roy Halladay, one of the greatest starting pitchers of all time. Uh, had a lot of complete games for his era. And he is uh, 19 years old, and they just basically put him and made him the closer, which is a stupid, stupid mistake. Bazio, another one, he was a starting pitcher for Milwaukee for a long time, and they got him doing that as well. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so I'm going to play until the trading deadline. We'll see if major trades come down. Let's look at July here. Um, and see, Mike Greenwell had five hits. Wow. Betting 311 with 13 home runs. Good going. If you're a Boston Red Sox fan, you probably like, like, like that as well. Uh, very much because Mike Greenwell was very beloved in, uh, in Boston. Uh, I mean, they had, I mean, the Boston Red Sox fans since the, 60s had the Carl Yastrzemski, then they had uh, Jim Rice, then they had Fred Lynn, uh, then they had Mike Greenwell, then they had Manny Ramirez. So they, uh, ever since the 70s, they just had a slew of left fielders that just for some reason were always Red Sox favorites. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see what the uh, 
Oh, here we go. The All-Star Game. 2-1. Tim Salmon. All right, so Tim Salmon. Did he hit a home run? Yes, he did. He hit the go-ahead home run. Uh, Kevin Young. Well, how, what's Kevin Young doing? I haven't heard from him. 329, 23 home runs. Kevin Young's still doing a hell of a job over there in Pittsburgh. Uh, he should be traded away, but the game doesn't act like that. The game doesn't, I don't know why the game doesn't sit there and go, hey, we're Pittsburgh, we're in last place. We're going to trade our best player for a lot of prospects. It doesn't really do that for all that much. I mean, here, I mean, you look at, you got Derek White here. And uh, he's going to the Brewers for like a couple of minor league players, so it's really odd. And I and I have it so that the the AI looks for veterans instead of prospects. So they should be looking for a, a veteran for to to get into the playoffs. Oh, Randy Myers, Colorado Rockies. He's gone for the year. He was. Uh, he was having a good comeback year, too. Jim Edmonds is out for the Angels. Ooh, we're going to have to look at the standings, see if that did anything. Brad Fulmer's day-to-day, -day, so he's probably dropped off of the home run race. Uh, okay, here we go, Red Sox Angels. Luis Alicia goes to the Angels. And he has not been a good addition for them. He was betting 293 three for the Red Sox however the Red Sox who are still in the race a little bit got Sean Bosky who is a 29 year old that is just nobody <laughs> again I don't understand this I don't understand it uh, oh Alex Rodriguez as much as people hate him he's got 38 home runs what a hell of a lot more games to play. 52 games more to play. How many more home runs will he get? Uh, yeah, John Powers, Troy Percival. In hot water. Blew out his freaking... What do you do? Blow out his leg? Yep, Achilles tendons. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Hal Morris... The guy no one remembers from Cincinnati. The first baseman no one remembers from Cincinnati. Did he have a... I don't remember his nickname. No, he didn't. He was a good ball player, but Joey Votto. No one remembers anybody before Joey Votto as a first baseman for the Reds. Andy Benes. Oh, they were keeping pace with the Braves, but Andy Benes is, was their man. Uh, and... Oh... John Lieber for Pittsburgh. Not doing so well. Yeah, the Mariners are going. Probably overtook everybody. Uh, Mark Leiter. Mark Leiter, huh? Hey, not bad. Okay. He's doing pretty good. Sean Green is done for the year. 308, 23 home runs. Had a good year. Vinny Castillo. End of the year for him, coming back from uh, from PED suspension, and now he's going to be gone for most of uh, for the beginning of next year. Uh, Kurt Abbott for Portland, I think that does it for Portland uh, in the pennant race. Okay, so the Cubs who are in last place trade to the Royals who are in last place for nobody for nobody makes no sense whatsoever no sense so that was it that is wow those were the major oh royals orioles oh tom gordon goes to baltimore okay okay let's see how they'll do Dan Kaufman. Oh, that's another uh, out-of-the-park baseball dude. Let's look at the standings. All right. Uh, 
Well, let's let's look at the league home screen because it shows everybody. So we got the Yankees. Here's the batting leaders. Niels, Nelson, 371. Polanco dropped down to 365. Sosa has 34 home runs. Bichette, 31. Fulmer, 28. DeShields and Sherman have 26 stolen bases. Jones has 25. Kim and Nitty, 17 home runs, 339. Jason Schmidt. Greg Maddox has 16 wins, strikeouts, Smoltz 169, Nomo 164, so he it looks like he's bouncing back. Wollers, Hanky, who has 300 saves, is having a phenomenal year. Boy, he's come back the last two years after Texas. Um, Yeah, team pitching leader, of course, Braves, Dodgers. Yankees still doing well, Indians... Red Sox, man, they're not exactly out of it, but I wouldn't give them a shot, nor the Blue Jays or the White Sox. Orioles, Tigers, Nationals, it's just a matter of time for they're out. The West, ooh, the Angels still holding on, but I don't think they can hold on any longer. I think Seattle's going to overtake them. Houston, we'll see what they can do. Twins aren't doing too bad. The Sugar Kings, 54-51, that would be a phenomenal year. If they could get a couple of games over 500, uh, the Royals, uh, the Athletics, all they basically have is McGuire, uh, leaderboards, uh, AL. Let's see, Rodriguez is now leading. Oh my God, what does McGuire have? Like 34 home runs? Yep, he has 34 home runs, betting 279. Uh, so it's Salmon and Rodriguez trying to carry their teams along with Bernie Williams. Jose Vidrew, you know, finally getting a shot up there in Montreal and doing a hell of a job doing it. Doing a hell of a job giving the opportunity. Nice. I always like Vidrew. He's one of those small second baseman kind of guys. I, I, I appreciate them. NL East, the Braves, Milwaukee... Still hanging in there, Cincinnati and the Mets, maybe. I don't see any hope for the Expos. And, of course, the Cubs, Pirates, and Phillies are just done for. I, I got to take a look at my Phillies. I got to take a look at my Phillies. Schilling's gone, so they probably have nobody. They probably have nobody. Um, Schilling gone, Dave Holland's gone, Dykstra's gone. Dykstra should be gone forever. Eisenreich's gone. Eisenreich had Tourette's syndrome, by the way. Um, so really great that he overcame that, became a professional ball player. But, yeah, this is about the starting staff that I always remember. Tommy Green, Quintrell, Mark, Mike Grace. Yep, yep, this is it. Kevin Height, I don't even know who the hell he is. But he's doing pretty good, given the opportunity. And then the rest of their bullpen is just hot slop. Hot slop. Uh, you got Dalton and Lieberthal. Of course, um, they should be trying to trade Darren Dalton. They're in last place. They did not do so. They got Galarraga. What the hell happened here? Did that not show up? It didn't show up in the newspaper. I didn't see it. I did not see that trade. So Galarraga is now the first baseman for the Phillies. Wow. Wow. Charlie Hayes, got Scott rolling up here, 324, eight home runs. Uh, Jeffrey's playing left field still. Not yeah, doing, doing a good job. He's got 24 doubles. He, he's a main double guy. Kevin Stocker, 35 doubles. Good for him. And John Crook, they put him in right field. Betting 269. Huh, that's weird. They still have Pete Ancavilla, but he... Uh, he is probably on his way out. He's not even one of the main pinch hitters. That's sad. And he should be a third baseman. Mickey Morandini. Another one of those scrappy ball players. Not a one of those scrappy second basemen that I like so much. Um, Yeah. They don't have much on the horizon. NL, who's leading... Seattle and the AL is leading everything by 
freaking offensively. The Brewers. The Brewers, huh? So who do the Brewers have that's knocking the snot out of the ball? Um, let's look at uh, who they got injured. Benny's and Darling, who got sent to the bullpen. But he's not doing bad. Um, okay, so they got Cordova. Awesome. Sparks, Tolberg, Scott Carl. Wow. Good job. Mike Maddox, who's Greg Maddox's brother. Whoever this guy is, Aaron Carnes. He's a real ball player. Bronson Arroyo. He was a favorite for the the Reds. Um, and I think next year we should be getting some guys that uh, a lot of people will know. Ball, uh, a lot of fans, nowadays fans will start to recognize. Uh, Greg Vaughn, not hitting the snot off the ball, but he only, oh, 37 games. Derek White, Derek May. It Well, it looks like they have uh, Jose Valentin. It looks like they have a bunch of players that are just, you know, they're hitting a, a slew of home runs. Or not a slew, but, uh, you know, they'll have 20 home runs. So, Ronnie Belliard. Uh, when the hell, he, when the hell did he get power? If I look at his real life stats, did he? No, he had like 10 home run power. But he, he's hitting 20. He's hitting 20 a year now. And that's how the development thing can just kind of like take off on you. Um, and then the NL West at the Dodgers overcame the Beavers, and that's that's about it. Padres can't come back, not without Tony Gwynn. The Cardinals, who who they got playing shortstop now since they got rid of Ozzie Smith. Polanco. Eh, step up from Ozzie Smith, I'll tell you. <laughs> so, uh, got Doug Glanville here. One of the smartest ball players. Engineer. Hey, Alright, well, you know what, guys? That'll be it. Um, milestones. Well, let's look at transactions, first of all. Yeah, some of these things did not show up. Some of these trades did not show up. Oh, so they did trade. Oh, there were a lot of trades going on. Okay, good. Good to know. Uh, milestones. Let me see. Paul Molitor needs 104 hits for 3,000. Ozzy Smith needed 33 for 2,500 hits. That's that ticks me off. That ticks me off. You know. Mm. Uh, Cal Ripken. I don't think he's going to get 2,500 hits. Ricky Henderson might. Alan Trammell. Chili Davis will probably get it, no problem. What's Barry Bonds doing? 289, 12 home runs. So it looks like he's going to have a second half hurt, uh, surge. 500 home runs. Murray needs 13. And he is no longer injured, so he will definitely get 500 home runs in a Hall of Fame berth. Uh, one more home run for Daryl Strawberry, who is having a nice comeback year. Uh, three for Kaseko, he'll get it. Barry Bonds will get it this year. Tom Bernanski. Uh, he might. He might get 300 home runs. Chili Davis will not, but he's under contract for two years. Ron Kittle was 18 years away. Gary Templeton. What did Gary Templeton do? He was with Hawaii, bet at 253, and for some reason they cut him. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Vince Coleman. He got he got thrown away. Um was he actually stealing bases still? Well, in ninety four he stole fifty bases, but nobody wants him now. Um 
Andy Bensleik will get 250 stolen bases. Roberto Kelly in Hawaii will get 200 stolen bases. Yeah, and he it looks like he is starting. Clemens, 200 wins. Needs seven. Candelaria, I don't think he'll get it. Dave Stewart needs 2,000 strikeouts. Or 158 for 2,000 strikeouts. He is done for. He's done for. 39-year-old pitcher will not come back from a torn U UCL. 450 saves. Lee Smith, I do not think so. I don't think he is getting uh, an opportunity to, to get it. So maybe outside chance. Who knows? Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, get out of my ballpark.